Speaking of flavor, I see something that looks kind of tasty. Yo, big legs. Tell me what you're saying. Tell me how you doing. Tell me what's happening. How you do? 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 Y'all, someone recommend me, please, for the life of me, recommend me a good edge control because what is this? Today's video, I really want to discuss this whole pregnancy journey, how it's been, how it's going, the good, the bad, and everything in between. So let's get started. First of all, I do want to preface this that this journey has been like teaching me teaching me a lot it's been teaching me a lot i've been learning a lot i've been growing a lot it's been a beautiful journey but when i say beautiful i don't want you to think it's, it's been like all cherries and blossom and cotton candy and all things beautiful you know what i mean it's been beautiful in the sense that there is a purpose to all the pain and there's a purpose to all of the discomfort and all the craziness that comes along with it at this current moment i'm feeling very content right now very much like satisfied i'm like in my last trimester so i'm like you know getting ready to rumble <laughs> and i don't even know how to feel it literally feels like i've been studying for this test for like nine months and I'm gonna take the test but I don't know if I'm actually ready for the test but you know through God I'm gonna pass and that's on period yeah anyways so let's get started let's talk about the symptoms there were symptoms that I didn't even know was a thing okay I get the fatigue I get the constantly having to use the bathroom I get the cramps and yada yada bing you know what I mean I didn't expect it to hit the way that it hit during pregnancy I thought it was just gonna be like a step up a step up or two from going through your menstrual cycle but it's not <laughs> to each their own everyone have different experiences but my first month and a couple weeks of pregnancy like i told y'all before i wasn't aware that i was pregnant like i had weird cravings like eating tuna and spaghetti and really wanting hot patty it wasn't weird because like i'm originally a weird girl with a weird body so when weird stuff happened to me it's never really alarming and i had like a few nauseous moments that I've never felt before, but I thought it was because I wasn't eating with sense and I wasn't sleeping with sense. So that's that. After I took the test and a few weeks later when it really dawned on me that, oh my gosh, Lachey, you're pregnant. That's when all of the symptoms start rolling in. I was throwing up every single day, okay? And I'm like sleeping all of the time. I didn't even come on my house to the point where I was turning into a light skin. One thing I tried to do is I tried to eat breakfast or take my prenatal pills, if anything, but for the most part, I was just throwing up and it was just horrible. You have to eat, you know, to ensure like a healthy pregnancy, but you're nauseous and you're throwing up everything. So that was my problem. Another symptom I had was like heartburn. Oh my goodness, that heartburn. And they were like, oh, don't eat that much spice and da 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 First of all, I'm in the Caribbean. And second of all, I did for a, for a period of time stop eating spicy foods, but the heartburn still happened. My sister-in-law, she hooked me up and she got me some. I'll put it up somewhere on the screen. And then coming here, I now take time. Like tums, but the heartburn isn't as frequent anymore. Another thing that I hate literally is this excessive saliva. Like my mouth is like overproducing saliva, and for what? For what? I have to chew sugar-free gum all the time. I have like two packs. I've already like been through packs. At this point, I feel like after pregnancy, I don't even want to see a piece of gum. 
after that, it was just more fatigue. Fatigue, fatigue, fatigue. And I was like really unmotivated and very much like in a sunken place, like always crying, not always crying, but crying for like the most mundane things. And I was irritable too. I was like very much annoyed with a lot of things. And I feel like my, my hearing sense has heightened because any little thing that I hear, especially when it has to do with someone's mouth, like if, if, if you're doing anything with your throat or your mouth, from smacking to swallowing, anything that you're doing with your mouth and your throat, I could hear and it's like intense and I'm like, oh my gosh, are you okay? Especially if you breathe in and you're not breathing with sense. Oh, that bothers me. It bothers me so much because are you okay? And now onto my second trimester since I'm like done. My second trimester, I absolutely love. I had minimal cramps and very much minimal symptoms at large. I started to feel more like myself. For my first trimester, my thoughts were just spiraling. They were spiraling, baby. I had to take a break from social media and stuff like that. Then I got re-inspired for like my second trimester, feeling more motivated, feeling more energized. It's the best trimester of the three, I would say. And I also felt like a bunch of kick and flips and all of that. So now we're in trimester three. Turn down for what? So far in my third trimester, because this is the last stretch, I feel as if I'm like in a rip. I'm getting the intensity of like the first trimester, but it's not as bad or as frequent. And I'm more uncomfortable when it comes to sleeping and standing and sitting and all that jazz. And I get, I, I get like very very out of breath really quickly i've also been really like emotional and sometimes i do find myself in a rut oh by the way the second trimester i started to see a lot of hyperpigmentation around my body between my girlies there was like this dark mark and i'm like what the heck is that you know what i mean because one thing about me is bad so what is what is what is happening at this point though it has faded so it's not as dark anymore but i do have them on my back and on my neck there's like hyperpigmentation and like blotches and y'all i thought i had monkey pox i literally thought i caught monkey pox and i was about to break down okay but it's not monkey pox it's melasma it's melasma and usually it's known as like the mark of pregnancy and people usually get it on their face like on their cheeks and their foreheads and their chin but i don't have it on my face i have it on my body i do have hyperpigmentation as it relates to my skin and like breakouts so right now my body really given representing all the nations of the world and that has really affected how i view myself but my husband has been really supportive and really loving and really like comforting during this time when i do get in my little rut of like oh my gosh what am i looking at when I look in a mirror, like, what am I looking at? Like, my face, my body, ah! Oh. He's like, babe, you're beautiful. You're beautiful, babe. You look like a little leopard. And I can't even cry with sense because I don't even know if I should take him seriously. But he's so sweet, so very, very much appreciative of him. And all the people who've been just so supportive during this time. Love y'all from infinity to inf infin... Infin... What the heck? Infinity! So the good about all of this is that even though I am not 100% settled with the idea of being a mother, being a parent, growing my own child, like what? What are you talking about right now? What are you saying to me? Are you saying to me that I'm gonna be a mother? Or are you saying to me I'm gonna be a mother mother? Even though that's my thought process. The thought of this being so purposed and planned by God. The idea of my body changing and shifting and doing all these different transformations to create life. I'm legit making a human in my stomach. What are you doing? talking about it just blows my mind how god works and how god created our bodies being in awe about that thought it just makes me feel more feminine not more feminine as in like i've never felt feminine i don't know i just feel more like 
womanly. Another thing that I'm also loving is the fact that this has brought me and Lee so much closer. We're creating something together and we're like going through this together and we get to like share our thoughts and our fears and everything in between about this journey that we're taking and how far this journey is gonna go like that has really bonded us in a special way so beautiful you know what i mean it's sometimes it makes me want to tear up i'm more excited to see him be a father than to be a mother myself but i don't want y'all to sleep though at the beginning first trimester ish i was not feeling that way i was more fearful and selfish at the beginning at this point like i think all my fears have like literally gone away i'm not I'm not scared in the slightest sense to be honest even when it came what i was really really afraid of was breastfeeding because like i saw a lot of videos of women breastfeeding and it was crying i'm definitely gonna recommend this web this youtube channel to you guys they have like a whole playlist on breastfeeding and expressing milk and doing all of that when you're educated on something that you're very much unfamiliar with it really really helps that has relieved me of my breastfeeding fears and even my mommy she was saying how breastfeeding isn't supposed to hurt if it hurts you're doing it wrong and this this um youtube channel and their playlist does a really good job at explaining why it hurts what you're supposed to be doing right what you're doing wrong and even the birthing part i'm not really scared of either because it's like our bodies are made to do this i'm gonna submit to my body and listen to my body and i'm gonna i'm gonna be fine submitting fully to god's purpose and his strength and his peace and everything that he could possibly offer me during this time I'm gonna be more than straight. I am so content and at peace. Even though I wasn't feeling that way at first, I've really given it all up to God, especially being here in this foreign place away from family. It's just me and my husband and our young selves in this like town in our little one bedroom apartment and we didn't even have a baby crib yet. Obviously, we're making behind the scenes decisions to, you know, optimize our life situation but i am not like high strong about it god always has the the upper upper hand okay and he knows exactly what he's doing and i need to trust him and i need to be humble and i need to be submissive to god and he's also teaching me to bloom where i'm planted too at this moment i'm a 22 year old housewife that's in a foreign place <laughs> and he's like wherever i put you just bloom where you're planted literally that's what i've been trying to do i've been trying to make sure that i stay in the word because even though like i try to live my life with no fear knowing that God has my back 100%. It's really important to continuously feed and meditate on the word to remind yourself of all the promises and all the things that God has done and is going to do and all the things that he is. Because sometimes it be getting rough out here. Sometimes the mental state be spiraling a bit and I need to like get back on my feet. It's probably, you know, Satan, you know, trying to, trying to put fear in me, but, but not around here. Cause you know who, who armed up me so if you around here you ain't even in here because this house is blessed first of all so if you're trying to attack from outside i want you to know that your girl is armed up and i am always victorious and that's point blank period but yeah baby noelle is soon here and i'm excited this is what we doing y'all this is what we doing stay tuned thank you so much for watching like subscribe to all of that good junk and i will see you in the next video